One of the most tragic stories in God of War has to be the story of Brock and Sindri. They were these enigmatic dwarfs that became real family to Kratos and Atreus. In Sindri's case, he became a confidant to Atreus when Kratos couldn't. He became, in many ways, almost a maternal figure to Atreus, guiding him through these difficult conversations and moments in adolescence that Kratos unfortunately just wasn't equipped to handle. So when the eventual death of Brock occurred at the hands of Odin through the misgivings of Atreus and Kratos, it was of course a devastating blow. After that moment though, Sindri changes in a big, big way. He loses the need to reassure himself through some OCD tics and tendencies and is solely out for blood, is broken. He's lost a sense of his humanity. The real reason for that that's even more depressing that maybe some players might have missed is how lost Brock is and why that is almost entirely because of the actions of Sindri. Speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Uh. Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. I know what you've done, and I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Brock. Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sindri did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock's, leaves its corporeal form, well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. It was stupid of me to hope in the first place. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. This is a fate that is not common in the Nine Realms. To not find your place in any existence is essentially what happened to Odin. It was his big fear at the end of the game. So there is some kind of, you know, a cathartic ending that Sindri was able to bring that same devastation, blackness, existential dread, death that Odin was fighting for his entire existence. His real reason for being Odin was to fight against the true death that was awaiting him because he was a god and when gods die, we don't know where they go. But just because Sindri got that moment of catharsis, I think this blow, this loss, is so totaling, is so much worse in this world than even a normal death, that Brock will never have the peace of the afterlife, whatever that means. That for Sindri, how can he ever forgive Atreus and Kratos for their part in his death? How can he ever forgive himself for 
his part in the death of someone that mattered to him more than anything in the world. When the game director was posed with this question, because it is such a heart-wrenching one, Sindri was so important to Atreus and, and what his journey was, game director did have some bad news. But then when you see him with the gloves off, you know, and then the blood splattered all over and you're like, oh no, what's going to happen here? And he's like, he was always kind of like the thesis behind him. He's like the giving tree. Mm. You know, he's always giving and giving and giving and giving and giving until he's a stump. In that moment, when you see him at Brock's shop with Brock on the table, you're seeing a stump. He still doesn't forgive uh, Atreus, uh, even to the very end of the game. Um, like, I don't know, was that even considered? Like, was there ever going to be like, maybe we should have them have a reckoning or like just make up, but they I mean, never I do. I don't know, man. Some people have fallouts and don't talk to their brother for 20 years or their best friend never again over some silly dumb shit. So, <laughs> you know, we were like, this is, you're not just going to bounce back, you know? Uh, so we'll see what the future holds. I sincerely hope that they're not going to take Sindri and make him, you know, a new baddie in any of the subsequent games. I did have one interesting theory that maybe his loss, his grief would be so totaling that he could do something that could incite a DLC or a next game. Maybe he would do anything he possibly could to bring Brock back. Maybe he would figure out how to travel through time and to fix that wrong, to give the person he cares about most in the world some of that catharsis, maybe even at the cost of his own life. There is a lot of things in the game that makes me feel like the Norse story is not done and it will be told through a time-traveling story. What do you think about what has obviously happened to Sindri, Brock, Atreus, and Kratos? Do you think there is any hope of reconciliation? And do you think it's possible that maybe he will have that heroic end that he deserves?